Hey everyone, my name is Peyton and this is part two to a series where I'm setting up some particle effects inside of Unreal Engine and basically just showing how I can do some very simple water effects to accentuate your scenes and stuff without necessarily having to use the Niagara fluid system and some of the more expensive things. Uh, these can be great ways to really just yeah have a more affordable kind of game ready water that might not take too long to set up uh, to represent your scene. So uh, in the previous video, as you can see here, we kind of covered doing some simple pipe like water just coming out of those and how you might set those up. But now I want to actually go over here real quick and show how we could, yeah, basically use some of those techniques to actually get something more like a waterfall uh, or just like a, a much stronger uh, sort of stream. So I'm going to go down and actually just duplicate my already existing system. Um, and we're going to start from that. So I'm going to drag this in and place it up here. So as I mentioned a second ago, uh, you can, or I guess previously in the uh, other video, I uh, basically want to change the shape of this. And right now we still have that sphere uh, look to it. So I'm gonna go into our system here and go to the shape location. And we can change that from sphere to box. So that'll work out for us. And then I'm gonna change the box size uh, and there's the X, Y, and Z coordinates. So might need to slightly check it just to see. So yeah, I don't want it in the C. Let's do there. Um, so yeah, looks like it's working out all right. We could probably double that. So might make it 200. And looks like it's working out pretty well. So um, yeah, the, the power of these, honestly, it just like, you can do a lot with uh, just simply like playing with some very simple sprites and uh, really just comes down a lot to like how you're placing things out and all. Um, but as we can see here, we're already starting to get some sort of almost like a, a water effect. So what we can do now is try to get some of that velocity back. That way we have a direction coming from it. So I'm going to go over here and let's say that we do maybe might also come down to us just uh, adjusting the like direction of it but let's say we change this to 150 and then 200 so now it's kind of spraying up a bit more and then yeah what i need to do is just ever so slightly rotate it and now it's kind of coming off the the ledge there so we could have something like that not too bad And then let's go back into that and adjust the overall size just slightly. I think I need to go down to like 190 uh, just because it was slightly coming into the, uh, yeah, those, it was coming through the wall basically and I wanted to fix that, but that looks like it's working. Um, I could, of course, like I am still keeping it, like it's not going too far down, which is nice. I could probably still uh, bring back the lifetime to be even less. That way we're being more affordable with it. Um, and so it looks like overall, like we're probably hitting between the 0.5 and 0.7. That's about this distance. You know, if I made this taller, I would need to have the water stay around for longer. But like I said, I'm trying to keep it cheaper. That way I can add some more density to it. So spawn rate, what I'm going to do is let's try to bump this up a bit um, and see how that might look. Not too bad. I'm going to try something crazy like 5,000. So it has a pretty cool look to it as it's coming across the side. Um, definitely could probably change the velocity again so right now we have uh might go back down to 100 and 150 and since these are not staying on screen forever like they're basically like calling out down here you can see that even though we have a 5000 particle uh overall it's kind of hitting like 3000 max because it's staying around for less than a second um, so overall, it's not too bad. I mean, that's pretty high, but 
I would say comparatively, like if you only have it once or twice in the level compared to maybe a smoke or something that's being placed around uh, a lot more, uh, it could be reasonable to sort of have this, yeah, direction with it. But I'm um, gonna cull down the, let's take this down to 90 and 70, trying to get that, uh, yeah, overall, like size a little bit, like, the distance that it's going uh, a little bit less uh, and then I might change the size as well uh, speaking of that just because since it might be a waterfall we might be a bit further away from it so we can kind of work with that and of course like the further away you are um, you know you're not necessarily looking at the sprite size so if it's something like this where you're walking up next to it yeah you might want to have a bit more accurate shape but if this was something that we're seeing from a distance, it might not be bad to potentially, yeah, have it um, like this, so. Uh, sprite size seemed to work pretty decently for us to get some more density out of it. Uh, as we can see, we have a, a bit of a, like, yeah, nice read coming out there. Um, I might adjust the location ag again to get some more variation out of the box size. Uh, I just need some more height variation here. So I'm gonna do maybe something like 15 or so and the Z. So now it's breaking up a little bit more. And then let's say, okay, cool. We kind of like that. How can we improve this further? Uh, just as like a start, what we could do is now I'm going to add uh, sort of like, I guess supporting um, like particles as well. So I'm gonna go down here and let's go ahead and just create a new particle instead of like uh, starting from what we have previously. I'm also gonna do the fountain and let's go ahead and let's rename it to uh, mist. Then I'm gonna right click, create Niagara system out of that. So now we have the mist system. So what I want to do with this one is going to kind of just quickly remove the gravity force. That way there's no gravity to it. Uh, the velocity, I probably need to drop down to like 50 and 100. Um, and then we want our shape location to also be box plane. Let's do 15 and then 5 there and then 100 in the middle. That way it kind of matches up, or I guess it was 190 in the middle, I think, that we did. Kind of matches up with our uh, our actual waterfall that we already have. And so we can see here that we're starting to get this almost like steam sort of look. Probably going to drop down the velocity a little bit more. So let's go down to 2040. And going to also yeah, let's start with this and then we'll see what we have. So I'm going to bring that into our game now. And this should be something that we could probably use for the top and the bottom. And the main thing is like, you know, a waterfall is kind of our, uh, a combination of a couple of things together. Uh, part of it, of course, is like the, the main stream. Um, and then additionally, it's the, the splash effect in the bottom portion of it. And then the uh, sort of like, I guess, mist that comes up off the top. This is something that you could put all into one system, but the reason why I kind of have it separate and I'd potentially have it separate uh, in game is just because with waterfalls, they vary in size and shape so much uh, like throughout an environment that it probably makes more sense to build a kit that you can kind of use um, with them. Uh, because if you were to figure out the exact like location of where they're making contact and everything and put it all in one system, uh, then you'd have to adjust that and it would be a little bit yeah difficult kind of placing throughout in different locations to your environment. But with this method, I can basically have the waterfall and then have it whatever length that I need, but then go in here and add these as your supporting uh, sort of like particles. But with that, what we need to do now is actually make this look a little bit better. So I'm probably going to bump up the, can lessen the lifetime of it. So we're gonna do that. 
Um, and then I'm going to bump up the spawn rate probably. So let's push that over there. And then also, where is that color? So let's start off just by having like a super simple, uh, like, yeah, soft color, somewhat similar to our other, like water, um, still pretty strong. What I'm gonna do now is adjust the bounds of the box a little bit more. Uh, that way we're getting, yeah, some more variation 25 so I'm trying to make it uh, have a bit more depth to it so it's just not like a, a flat wall but still has like that main sort of like uh, yeah look to it um, and now what we can do too is I want to actually have the the size of those probably a little bit bigger as well and we can see how those look Then it also makes, yeah, almost makes like a steam. Um, so that's kind of nice. Can go over here and let's say lower the color of that as well. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna lower the color, but I also wanna lower the spawn rate. So it's gonna drop down. So of course, still very early. Um, I'd probably potentially add some additional like tiling material maybe underneath it as well to get some supporting geo uh, with this. But we are at least getting in the right direction with these particles uh, to get yeah the, the look that we want. I'm gonna go ahead down here to the particle update and I'm actually gonna add a color. So let's do color. And then what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna do a, instead of just a basic color, I'm gonna change it to a color from curve. There we go. Um, and I basically am going to have a softer uh, in, and then a, gonna also turn this one down at the end. Um, so basically this is also just being used as the alpha. So now you'll see that instead of the popping that I was sort of having at the bottom here where they're all like popping in, um, now with a uh, black there, then it kind of ramps up to a white and then goes back down. Uh, it's kind of coming in much softer and uh, yeah, just get like a better sort of feeling from it. Um, but yeah, one thing, of course, I did change the color now. So I need to actually go back over here and adjust this one as well um, to match what I had previously. So let's go, okay. And from a distance, it's already like kind of looking not half bad. Um, you know, of course, like you could take this up to an extreme level of like the spawn rate. Um, if this was, oh wait, wrong one. Leave that at 120. But uh, if I took the actual like waterfall one up to like, I guess what, 10,000? Um, who's that? There we go. That's double what we just had. And yeah, you're getting like a pretty wild um, sort of look, but overall it's not it's not too bad. Um, go back over here and let's drop that color down slightly more because I mean, my background art isn't the best uh, in supporting this waterfall, of course, with a flat gray and all, uh, if we had more refined shapes that would probably help out as well um, but this is kind of getting a uh, an initial yeah read of like how you can make um, simple waterfalls and this you know I could now like go over here and let's say that I went and made a taller waterfall you can sort of just duplicate and this is what I was talking about too uh, so I can 
I'll probably have to make a uh, the distance or like the lifetime a bit longer but um, yeah I can basically get my steams and bring those over and then put that up here And then let's say that I uh, basically like, cause this is a pretty wide waterfall, honestly. Um, if I were to duplicate this real quick and replace this with this one. And then in this one, let's say that we basically um, shrink down that width. Seventy five, and then I also need to make sure that yeah, the lifetime's a little bit longer uh, now that it's a taller uh, waterfall as well. So, point seven five, and let's do a point or a, a one. But yeah, then these would need to be adjusted as well. But uh, you could basically get a more constrained waterfall uh, and then you need less particles as well for that sort of coverage. Um, and then I could go in with this one and probably say turn down the color as well. So. Um, let's go up here and turn this one down. And yeah, from a distance we're starting to uh, get that, that read. And like I said, this is a very basic one, so uh, to make it much nicer you could uh, certainly add a lot more to it. Um, but let's say for a distance like waterfall or so, this might not be too bad. Um, and like I said, the, the further away you are as well, you could probably increase the actual size of the particle. Um, so like here, if I change this to three and five, uh, now this is going to be much denser and, um, you know, I need less particles for that. And then same with this one over here, if I was far away and then did something like three and five. It's also, yeah, much denser. And then I could adjust the, the color and try to get those uh, more aligned. But um, yeah, basically that's a couple of ways where you could make really simple waterfalls. Uh, the brightness, like I said, once I made them bigger, I probably need to drop down the, the color as well. But this is a um, somewhat simple way of making a particle effect waterfall or just similar to the previous video, uh, you could do something more along the lines of just these simple streams and stuff. So yeah, hope you found this one helpful. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see future videos similar like this uh, as well. Uh, leave a comment below if you had any questions or anything else you'd like to see. And I did recently start a Patreon as well as the YouTube membership where you can get uh, files from projects like this and uh, also just support the page. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video.